What's going on guys, it's Pavin here, and today I'm gonna be helping you guys get ready for this upcoming Madden Classic Tournament. Basically today we're gonna go through any questions you have, um, look at some of the teams, and basically show you guys how to sign up and get ready for the Madden Classic, which will be played on Xbox and PS4, so you know, if you don't have one or the other, you'll be able to compete in both of them. All links will be in the description below. And lastly, uh, to answer your question, no, I will not be using the Raiders in the Madden Classic. So after you know, I show you guys how to sign up, uh, where to sign up, all that good stuff, I'm gonna be kind of breaking down some of my ideology and some of my thoughts going into this tournament, some of the teams I use, some of the playbooks and players, all that good stuff. So you know, this, there's some free advice in here. Make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because I am gonna be discussing some pretty important information you know, if you have any questions, the odds are that more than likely I will be answering them in this video. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, guys. So basically, the entry fee is $5, which really isn't that much. But with that, you could, you know, sign up for Xbox and PS4. So me personally, I'm going to be playing on both consoles, the Xbox and the PS4. Got both my controllers here ready to go. Let me know what console you guys are going to be playing in, if not both. And honestly, guys, if you are trying to become a better Madden player, I highly recommend you sign up for this tournament. It's a regs tournament. You don't need a mutt team. You don't need any of these, you know, qualifications slash restrictions. Um, you could just go out there and ball. If you are trying to become a better Madden player, go in there, sign up, and, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys out there, man. Guys, it may be a little intimidating. I know the feeling I've been there, but trust me, you guys will never know unless you go out there and compete and you guys might honestly surprise yourself. Regs is a mode that, you know, honestly, anyone could win. So, you know, I highly recommend you guys sign up, like I said. And now for the info that is very important slash very helpful. This is on Battlefy. This is where you can register. And I'll make sure to put those links in the description. Whenever you're done watching this video, go ahead and check this website out. It's a great informative website registration closes for you know ps4 and xbox on the day of the tournament as you can see right here the madden classic ps4 side is on the 20th of february that's when registration closes at 10 a.m pacific time and you know going back to the other side the xbox one does close at 10 a.m pacific time on the 21st so you know hey a ps4 one day xbox the other day so that way you could play in both this ladder right here guys is basically going to be four at the minimum four qualification games that will all be ran through the website you'll know who your opponent is through the website think of it as you know kind of like a search queue and from there you know if you, you win those games it doesn't even matter if you play in those games they'll kind of seed you out and rank you out you can play more than four games i believe um and obviously the more games you play probably better repetition for you guys and you know better seating i'd assume so man so yeah man make sure your schedules are clear for the whole days of saturday and sunday and make sure you guys at the minimum get those four games in and as you guys see right here stage two and stage three there's single limb on the 27th of february quarter finals on the 28th of february and last but not least the finals will be taking place a month and a week from now on the 27th of march and guys the thing we're all been waiting for the prize pool the payouts first place 15,000 plus a spot in a future mcs event man that's huge you guys have to give yourself that chance we don't know what tournament it is but it could be a huge and big tournament second place 8,000 third 6,500 fourth 4,500 fifth through eighth 2,000 and ninth through 16th place equals out to 1,000 so you know if you put in five dollars you may be returning with some plus money man it's five dollars give yourself a chance and here guys if you go down a little bit it does tell you guys about the madden classic tournament information and helpful information if you if i miss anything or if you want to you know actually read it out this is where you go you scroll down a little bit guys and you should see it right here with all that tournament information taken care of let me break down some of my ideas on the tournament itself on the gameplay itself this is where i really can help you guys out so like i said i'm not gonna be using the raiders um you know they are my favorite team but there are some really great teams out there and for me my number one team you guys may or may not have known this from watching me stream is the packers aaron Rodgers. check out his abilities gunslinger roaming deadeye pass lead elite this dude aaron Rodgers, is probably the best quarterback in the game honestly one of the best quarterbacks in madden history his release is insane when you mix in that release with the you know zones of regs it's just an unstoppable combo if you ask me and he also has 79 speed very underrated he has that roaming dead eye if you could get outside and 
on the run, you can make some passes on the run. My next go-to player for the Packers is Aaron Jones. This dude is a monster. Recuperation, so you know, he's never really gonna get tired, man. And not only does he have that, he has backfield mismatch. He has 91 speed, um, that backfield mismatch, he's gonna get open versus any and all types of man coverage, improved catching, just an overall great player. And guys, last but not least, 99 overall for a reason, Fresno State, Devontae Adams. He doesn't have the best speed, but his routes and everything, his abilities are insane. Outside apprentice, route technician, red zone threat, three of the greatest abilities you can have. And he also has double me, man. So if you consistently throw into him, he's gonna get those nice ag catches in single coverage. And for me, man, it's the triple A's, man. For the Packers, you got Adams, you got Aaron, and you got Aaron Jones. So two Aarons. I mean, it's just kind of corny, but it's a good way to think about it. If you're using the Packers, you gotta use the triple A's. My next go-to team, guys, it has to be the Bucks. For me, I'm still on the fence on what team I wanna use. Let me know what team you guys are gonna use. Tom Brady is, you know, if Aaron Rodgers didn't have a great release, Tom Brady would be the best quarterback due to his abilities. And let's just check him out real quick. You got Hot Route Master, you got Conductor, you got Set Feet Lead, you got Fearless. You know how I feel about those abilities. Just, I loved his abilities, man. His conductor with Hot Round Master, it just goes perfect. He's obviously slow, but that doesn't really matter. You're gonna be in the pocket. And you know, there were questions about his O-line, but you know, he has Ali Marpet, post-up secure protector. He has Ryan Jensen, and last but not least, Tristan Wirfs. They're all great in helping out Tom Brady in that pocket. And then obviously, come on now, his receiving core is insane. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Antonio Brown, three deep route running guys they all meet the route running thresholds so you know you don't have to worry about oh is this route going to beat man is this route going to beat man yes with the buccaneers all these routes will beat man see right here deep out elite mid and elite red zone threat red zone threat is a highly underrated ability in regs you guys need to know how to use it even i need to know how to use it because you know red zone is a dead zone they say chris godwin slotomatic mid and elite Two great abilities. We all know how souped up Slotomatic is. And with Antonio Brown, like I said, he does meet those route running thresholds. The only issue with the Bucks is their defense. So the Packers are well balanced everywhere. Great rush attack, great pass attack, great defense. With the Bucks, you know, they do have a great offense, but their defense is kind of lackluster. So if you are struggling on defense, I don't think you should use the Buccaneers. And lastly, the number three team, in my opinion, is the Chiefs, man. You have Mahomes. He's a 99 overall. No Gunslinger. If he had Gunslinger, this team probably would be up there as number two. He really only has Escape Artist and Dashing Deadeye, man. I mean, this is a really great combo with the speed he has. And, you know, <laughs> 99 speed Tyreek Hill, man. Jukebox, short and elite, grab and go. You can't beat that with a 99 throw power quarterback. We've seen some crazy things with the Chiefs over the years. This year is no different. And obviously, McCole Hardman is a great substitute right there. Great number two receiver with 97 speed. But this team is really good, in my opinion, due to this guy right here, Travis Kelsey, tight end apprentice. We all know how I feel about my tight end slash route cams. Um, you know, him having a route cam is really nice. In my opinion, you could do a lot with a tight end route cam. Besides that, man, their defense is a little lackluster. Their O-line is okay. Mitchell Schwartz is a dog. He does have edge protector. But, you know, you check their defense out and they're, you know, they're okay. Chris Jones, El Toro, under pressure. That's a great addition. Besides that, you know, you only have Tyran. You have some fast guys in Legereus Sneed, but that's about it, guys. So with, you know, in my opinion, the best team in regs is this team right here. You have David Bakhtari hiding right here. Make sure you guys sub him in if you use the Packers. Sometimes he goes uh, unsubbed in. For me, I've done it. It's a new mistake. It's a rookie mistake. But their O-line is great, man. I'm gonna scroll through some of their players. Their defense is really get fast and really good. Rashawn Gary, 86 speed, that dude's a beast. You got edge threads, Darius Smith, inside stuff, Kenny Clark. And their speed on their defense is insane. 93, 93, 92, 93, 95 couple 90 speed tall guys in there too so my opinion this is the best team in regs let me know what you guys think and this if you are using a team outside of this team and you are having success do not go away from it don't try to change yourself to you know fit in with the meta if you're having nice results if it's not if it ain't broke don't fix it man it's a famous quote for a reason hopefully i gave you guys a little bit of insight slash help for this upcoming madden classic tournament I'm gonna keep some secrets to myself, man, I have to, but you know, be on the lookout for some more content, some more videos in the future, some more gameplay, man. Another quick thing, guys, I kind of forgot. This is a 512-man single elimination tournament. 
So 512 players Xbox, 512 players PS4, and it's single limb, man. That's as sweaty as, it, as it's gonna get. Guys, make sure you sign up for one of the sweatiest Madden tournaments ever. It's been real, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Best of luck, make sure you sign up down below right now, and I'll see you out in the field, man.